Electrical conduit or duct is usually made of plastic or metals through which electrical wires run. Here are the steps for installing one. For installing an electrical conduit, prior knowledge and information is required. But, by following the proper steps and with some knowledge, even a novice can install it. The duct must be installed before the installation of conductors. It must always run in a straight and direct way, but if more than two ducts have to be installed in a parallel fashion next to each other, it is better to install them at the same time. The minimum size raceway that can be installed is half an inch. To install underground electrical conduit, you need to dig the ground at least 18 inches deep. Steps Method 1, materials required are 1 inch metallic conduit, metallic couplings, and 1 hole strap. At first, mark the place where you want to install your duct. Start with the panel of the house. At the top of the panel, remove the knockout seal and fit a 1 inch coupling inside it. While doing this, make sure that the power is disconnected from the coupling, or cover the breakers and the top feed section with a cardboard. Bend the conduit with a 1 inch bender. Set the anchor on the wall at a distance of 10 feet. For concrete anchoring, use plastic anchor or wedge anchors. Carry it till it reaches the end. In the box where the conduit is present, check if everything is in place and secured. Method 2, materials required are EMT conduit, conduit bender, set screw couplings, offset fittings, electrical boxes, deburring tool, tape measure, pencil hacksaw, set screw elbows, single hole or double hole straps, screws, electrical fish tapes, screwdriver, and electrical tape. Fix the electrical boxes on the wall and determine the end points of the conduit. Set the boxes, screw them, and add offset settings. Fix the conduit firmly against the wall. After knowing the path of the conduit, measure it with a tape measure, mark with a pencil, and then cut with a hacksaw. With a deburring tool, remove the burrs present at the end of the conduit. Attach the conduit to the wall with single slash double hole straps and screws. Allow the fish tape to pass through the conduit path. When the end point is reached, tape the end of fish tape to the end of electrical wires. Through conduit, pull the wires in place. Method 3, this method is used to install PVC conduit for an outside circuit but it is different from installing underground PVC electrical conduit fittings. Materials required are PVC and pounds fitting, plastic lamps, adhesive, cutter or hacksaw, hammer drill, and fish tape. To start with, drill a hole such that it can accommodate and pounds fitting. Drill it above the foundation of your house or shed. Cut the PVC in such a way that it will extend to your house or shed up to one inch. Force it in the hole, join the ends with an adhesive, and attach the pounds fitting. Force the entire pounds fitting in such a way that it is flushed with the wall. Below the pounds fitting, dig a trench making its width equal to that of a shovel. It should be minimum 18 inches deep. Cut the PVC conduit in such a way that it can be attached to the pounds fitting and reaches the bottom of the trench. While doing this, enough room should be left for the elbow. Attach the elbow with the adhesive and also attach the PVC into the pounds fitting with adhesive. Cut the entire length of the PVC conduit and fit it into the trench with the help of adhesive. After it has dried, place it in the ditch and glue it with the end of the elbow. Attach the entire length with plastic clamps. Drill into the foundation and insert plastic shields so that all the screws are held in place. Clamp the PVC conduit to the shed or foundation of your house. Using these simple methods, you will not have any problems installing an electrical conduit. You can also ensure electrical safety from wires in exposed locations. The above methods can also be used for the installation of commercial electrical conduit. They not only protect your circuitry, but also make it look neat and tidy.